Hey there, welcome to my channel on do-it-yourself home projects. Hopefully in this video we can save you a little bit of time and money. I've got some tips if you're looking to build yourself some planters. You can see in the background there those white custom-made planters. We've got three boxes and they also serve as a quite comfortable bench. Well, as comfortable as wood can get anywhere anyway. There's another shot of it there to the left. Kind of matches the trim on our deck. Everything's painted white. And here is a handy little trick. Instead of going out and buying very expensive cedar, you're going to go out and buy inexpensive cedar. And where can you get this? Go to the hardware store and pick up some 1x4 dog-eared picket fences made of cedar. It's a fraction of the price and it looks great. I also picked up and used some one by six pickets for this project. I'm going to put a link in the description below for the plans that I followed. I had to modify them to fit my exact specifications on my little cement side yard there. But basically you cut down the cedar to specs and you can build in a little floor. The higher up you go, uh, the less soil you will make. Now here's a shot of the bench. I've got regular 2x4, uh, a big frame underneath there um, providing the support. And those basically connect to all of the respective three boxes. And then those uh, more cedar dog-eared picket fences serve as the top of the bench or the benches. So there's some more shots there for you of the cedar all put together after it was built. You notice the plastic lining on the inside to serve as kind of a barrier. Although cedar is resistant, I felt better putting in a, um, a little five millimeter plastic barrier um, so that, and then I, I drilled holes down below so that it will drain properly and whatnot. Um, but in the middle storage, here, uh, middle box here is storage. So I did not put a planter on this one. It's just pure storage. And obviously, um, let me take that ball out there for you. You can see at the bottom, um, I've got things draining out when it rains and whatnot. And then I just put a little, made a little lid for it. Went to the hardware store, got some, a, a little handle for it there. Um, and as I was saying earlier, you feel free to fill this entire thing up with soil, but that's going to save you um, a little bit of time or a little bit of money there if you actually build that false floor um, a little higher up, but deep enough for plants and whatnot to be able to take root. And then it'll basically be empty on the inside underneath there. All that water can drain out without issue. There's another look at that plastic barrier that I put down. And again, everything drains really well, so it's not like if it rains, there's nowhere for it to go with that plastic barrier. It just helps protect the wood a little bit better. Um, here are the supports. A look underneath. Super solid. And of course, I painted it, and then I actually sealed it with a polyurethane that's external or exterior polyurethane. So looks great and super durable. It gets a little dirty because it's white, but it holds up really well. And that is about it. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. For more do-it-yourself videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.